Hello there, Fugu friends. Welcome back to the Lioness Lane. In today's video, I have another DIY project for you guys. Today, I will be showing you all how I made a K cup in or tea bag holder. So, if this sounds like something you would be interested in seeing, just keep watching. The first thing I'm going to do is take off the wrapping off of these butter dishes I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I want to adhere all four pieces together. Now I'm going to add the crazy glue to the sides because I want the sides to adhere to one another. Couple of quick tips. Tip number one, if you do this project, wipe them down with alcohol first. Tip number two, the crazy glue I used had a tint, like a slight yellow tint. So if you do not want that to show through, you want a clear look, then find a clear glue. Next tip, if you want your stand to stand straight up and not have that slant, do not glue the sides completely together, only the rims. I ended up using bag clips and magnetic clips to help hold the trays together while they dry. I purchased those silver magnetic clips from the Dollar Tree. If you have any of those around, use those instead of bag clips to hold the tray together. I am now going to paint the back of the dishes as well as one of the butter dish covers with the brown paint. I will not be painting the top nor the sides, only the back and again, that butter dish cover. This is the reason why I said to use the silver magnetic clips. As you can see, one of the dishes came apart, which is fine. I will adhere it after I paint these pieces, but just be sure to use those maybe three per uh, row and you'll have like three or four rows so maybe three per row but as you can see I'm, I'm painting and I am going to do a couple of layers of these so I'm just doing one for now I'm going to let it dry and then I'll go over it again until I am satisfied Here is what the back of this is looking like so far. And this is two coats of paint and one coat on the butter dish tray. I am going to go over it again with a smaller brush later. But for now, I wanna get started with hot gluing the coffee beans around the sides and top of the dishes. Quick tip on how to get some cheap coffee beans. Wait for your grocery store to have a buy one, get one free sale. Pair it up with a coupon and there you go. So now I'm going to grab the hot glue gun and these coffee beans. I dump them in the bowl because it makes it easier to see. I'm going to hot glue them along the sides first with the flat side down and then later I'll do the top. Here is what it is looking like so far with the coffee beans glued down to the one side. I'm going to do the same for this side and in the top. And then I'm going to take a small paintbrush with some more of the glue and fill in these spaces and gaps to my desired preference. Now I'm going to use some Dollar Tree stickers I have to label one of the lids and I want to label it to say T and I'm going to do that in the center of the lid 
but I am going to flip it the opposite way. That is the only way that it will fit in there snugly and correctly is to flip it the opposite way. I used that little center piece there, just like a little small knob in the center as a guide and that's where I put the letter E. So use that as a guide if you do this project. Here is what it is looking like so far. And what I would do different is number one, I would use a different glue, a clear glue. But this is what it's looking like with the coffee beans inside. I'm okay with it showing through like that. Um, I could line it with something in the inside, uh, but I'm not. I'm okay with the residue showing because the product is going to cover it. But if you do this, either use a clear glue and if you don't have a clear strong glue you may want to line it with some type of shelf liner or construction paper something like that but this is what it turned out like and I'm still happy with how it turned out mistakes and all here is what it is looking like with the labeled lid on the top now I'm going to show you some different options on how you could fill in your K-cups or your tea bags. For the first look, I'm using it to display tea bags and K-cups. And if you use this option, if you use it for this option, you could get about 12 of those Lipton tea bags, the uncovered ones, and nine K-cups. So this is what it would look like. And as you can see, this is why I wasn't worried about the residue showing because if you display it this way, then you really don't see it. But I do still have the option of lining it. For this option, I'm using K-cups only. And as you can see, I'm able to get 12. 12 K cups in this stand in the average box of K cups have 10 to 12 if I'm not mistaken uh, in the box so I'm using this for K cup only K cups only and I actually prefer this over all of them or you could just use teas let's say you're not a coffee drinker you drink teas you could use this to put all of your tea bags in there instead Here's another look for you. You can have them standing up and then facing out, or you can have them just all standing up. If my stand was lined, I would use that option sometimes. Here is how I am using it in our home next to the Carrick machine at my coffee station. I am more of a coffee drinker than I am a tea drinker, so I'll be using mine for K-cups only with the option of tea whenever uh, I do want to use tea. But this is what it's looking like so far, and I have uh, some of those stands that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I had a blast making this, and as you can see, I had to put one in there I had already drank, but um, I had a blast doing this, and I hope you all enjoyed seeing this as well. If you enjoyed watching this DIY K-Cup and tea bag stand, I recommend that you watch my DIY individual K-Cup holder. It's cute, it's whimsical and eclectic, and I made it for uh, individual coffee, something you could put at an office desk or coffee with a friend or maybe even for a tablescape. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and I also have a playlist of DIY videos and I'll include a card. Please be sure to check out that playlist at your leisure. If you are not a subscriber, I hope you would consider doing so today. Would absolutely enjoy having you pop up anytime over here at the Lioness Lane. I could also be found on Instagram under the Lioness Lane and you can follow me out there as well. I thank you all so much for stopping by and remember, a frugal lifestyle is more than just paper clipping. It is a way of living. I will chat with you guys in a new video. Bye bye for now.
I got two lemon pepper seasonings and it's by fifth season and I can't remember how much it is or it was a uh, dollar I know it's under two dollars I think these were